So today let's talk about the little tiny thing that connects the engine and transmission to the pumpkin patch in the back. Drive shafts. Now Ford's first attempt at the modern drive shaft actually happened in the trucks in 1942. And were honestly met with friction. Now, before the modern drive shaft, most manufacturers were using something that was basically known as a torque tube. In short, take a modern drive shaft in your mind, overcomplicate the shit out of it, and stick it into a water pipe. Seal it up and use it between the engine and the differential. And there you have it a connecting system that when you drive down the road, nothing outside actually turns. Everything is internal inside that tube. Ford was really one of the first of the big three to take on the open drive shaft. Chevy and Dodge were actually way later to the game, and honestly, Ford didn't even put it in his regular cars until around 1949, after the trucks had basically proven public opinion wrong. So what was public opinion? As with any new technology, there were a large group of people that clutched their pearls and were very upset about the idea of the open drive line and its safety. So you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that's kind of crazy because all cars today use open drive lines. But you also have to remember that you're looking at the situation through modern eyes. Let me take you back to 1942 and let you know a little bit more about pickup trucks and how they were perceived by the public. If you had a pickup truck, it was more than likely that you owned either a ranch or some type of a business that necessitized having a truck in the first place. If you were going into town, you would never take your pickup unless you were conducting business. That's what the family car was for. And the main reason for this is going into town in a pickup truck would have the town perceive you as being poor. Let's be honest, that hasn't changed. If you're poor as shit, the last thing that you want to do is advertise it to the people in town. Also keep in mind that in most areas, paved roads were not necessarily common. So these trucks were spending most of their time either driving cross country or down country dirt roads. From a safety standpoint, a lot of people were basically thinking, wow, if I have an open drive shaft or something that's spinning underneath the car, it's gonna grab damn near anything. Wire, rope, fucking tall weeds. Great, then I have a vehicle that's in the dirt, in tall weeds, and I gotta climb up under the damn thing to try and cut everything out so that I can get my ass home. Nope. What honestly really helped was timing. Because what happened in 1943, we went to war. So all of these Ford vehicles with open drive shafts were basically tested in war. Also, that was one of the first wars that was actually filmed and people could see these trucks in action at home. So basically Ford proved that the open drive shaft was not the boogeyman that everybody thought it was. 